Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of Passion Cooking. Today we have Lisa, she's our cook, and we have Tony on the camera. Yeah. And hi, hi. I'm Daryl. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't have another brother named Daryl. <laughs> hi everybody. So what are we making today, Lisa? Today we're going to make a simple, easy dish, and it's called uh, pasta carbonara. Pasta carbonara. Yes, and it's this is my go-to when I when I think in those days where you don't know exactly what to cook and you're trying to think and you but you want something easy. You just get home from work and you're like, oh, what am I going to make tonight? And the kids and even if it's just for two people or just for yourself even. Um, but a lot of times. I have, it's a staple in my house to have a pasta, a bacon, either in the fridge or in the freezer, um, some eggs and some cheese. So that's my go-to. <laughs> I'm going to show you easy. how to put this together. <laughs> nice and easy. Anything with bacon I like. <laughs> okay. So what I'm going to do, I want to get started first because we're going we're gonna to make some pasta. So I've got... A pot of water over here and I'm gonna start the boiling process with this pasta water and so I'm gonna come right on over here I'm just gonna I just got some water in here in a big pot and I'm gonna just turn it on do you put salt yes and we're gonna put some we're gonna put some salt in there and you want to use you know a good amount right there it's, they always say salt the taste, water tastes like the sea yes Tastes like the sea because that's the only time that you have left to to actually season the pasta. Okay. You gonna help me today, Daryl? Sure, what can I do? <laughs> okay. So what I want you to do is I'm gonna give you this cheese here. Oh, look at that. It's a big old wedge. <laughs> well that's from one of those big wheels. <laughs> yes. Hold on. Big chunk out of the wheel. This is Parmigiano. And we're going to use that in our dish today. And I'm going to have you grade some up for me. Okay, you so, want me to use this side? Yeah, actually, yes. Actually, That's use neat. this side right here. That'll be a good. That'll be a good, good side. Right. And you're, maybe do me about a cup, a cup, cup or so. All right. If you can do that for me. So while Daryl's over here doing the cheese, I'm actually going to take. This is about close to a pound, not quite a pound. Maybe nine, ten ounces of bacon. That's the thicker bacon. Yes, and this is a thicker, I like to use a little bit thicker bacon. And lots of times people will use like a pan, you can use like a pancetta um, instead of bacon, but lots of times we always have bacon on hand. So this is our, this is what we normally would use for us. And I'm just gonna cube this up into some small pieces like this. I'm gonna go along, cut it just like this. You're getting your boat to one. Mm -hmm. How yeah, you that's about a cup, you think? Yeah, really good, very good. And I'm just gonna finish cutting up our bacon here. Just like this. And you just find that in the section where there's bacon, there'll be like usually a couple selections I noticed of the thicker bacon. It's, and it's really if you if you don't have the, whatever bacon you got on hand. I used to use the thin bacon when I used to do this dish myself when I was my younger days. My I'm gonna take. Dishes. I'm gonna take you. You ate this too when you were young all the time. Yeah, Your mom used to, to make, make this, huh? Yeah, with the egg. We're gonna take this right over to our frying pan. Okay. And we're gonna turn that on there. What I like to do too is I'm gonna add just a little bit of oil in there just to get it started. This is just a little extra virgin olive oil, just to get it started for us. And we're going to put all our bacon right in here. It doesn't have to be super hot right in the beginning in the pan? or does No, it no. It doesn't have to be super hot in the pan. There comes the dogs walking around. Mm -hmm. I see them down there. Okay. There's one of them. Okay. And Another job for you, Daryl. I'm going to have you take this board here. Okay. And there's a little clove of garlic over there. Yes, I oh, see it. We're going to do the pounding again. What are you going to knock down this time? <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm going to take it easy with the it. Covers? I'm going to have you just just do a gentle smash of that garlic and so it peels for me. And I'm going to throw it in with our bacon just to infuse it a little bit. Perfect. 
Just enough to get that peel off. Oh, okay. And it should slide right out there. Because slip. we're gonna we're gonna take that back out of the the pot when we're done with it. Perfect. Already? Oh, I just like a little that. chunk off the end there. Oh. I don't like those. Very good. <laughs> I'm gonna throw this right into mm, the. I love the smell of garlic. Into in the our pot here. Way too small for bacon going. In our last episode, I diced up all the garlic and I could smell the garlic on my fingers, even though I washed a couple times. It gets yeah, still small for hours. You're supposed afterwards. to use a stainless, what is it, a stainless steel bar gets neutralizes or sometimes you see the little bit of like those soap things. Well, well it's like fish. When you handle fish, it's so hard to get that. But yes. I heard if you take, uh, and I've tried it, toothpaste. Toothpaste? You just rub it all over your hands, it takes the smell away. Oh, like maybe lemon juice or something too. Yeah. You know, we did an experiment years ago, I think in school, we had uh, pieces of garlic and we actually put it on the bottom of our foot and taped it to the bottom of our foot. And after just, I think it was minutes, we could actually taste, taste it and oh, smell wow. it in your mouth from <laughs> it being on your foot. That's how it must travel through your whole body. Wow. That's why you wonder you're like sponges. Or maybe when people eat too much garlic, your whole body smells like garlic. People can notice. You think they can notice? I, just I must reek. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me too. We don't have to worry about vampires. <laughs> so we're going to crisp up this bacon. I'm going to let this go for a little bit. See our little garlic clove in there? Yeah. Then I'll come out for mine. You know, that, and we're going to, yes, yeah, so we're going to take that out after we get our bacon out of there. I think I'll eat it. So, <laughs> so now what we're going to do back over here is we're going to take, actually I got a, some eggs here. Can and I beat the eggs? Actually, <laughs> how are you good at separating the eggs? Pretty good at it. <laughs> I actually been very blessed to my daughter um, Alicia and her husband Ermin. They have chickens, and we oh. very blessed to have nice, fresh, organic, free-range eggs. Ooh! And how's that free-range? They wander yes, around on their yep, own. Yeah, they do. How do the eggs move? <laughs> <laughs> Just the chickens. Oh, the chickens are free-range. So we're going to take three eggs. We're going to use about we're going to make about a pound of pasta like i said it's not quite a pound of the bacon so we have we're going to use three eggs and we're going to have daryl crack our eggs open what i want to do is i want to use one whole egg okay and two egg yolks one whole egg and two egg yolks yes. so one i'm going to take the yolk out one you're going to you're going to keep the egg yolk you want me to do one for you <laughs> oh, no. Perfect! Oops. You Butter can use it as the one whole egg. Oh, okay. Well, I thought you said you were oh, good at this. And all. I thought you said you were good at this. Separating the shell from the egg, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's one whole egg. That's one whole egg. Okay. Now we need... Now the trick. Now these ones here, you don't want the yolk. Correct? No, I want the yolk. I want just the yolk. Just the I'm gonna yolk. Do one you oh. can, I'm going to do one, you can do one. So... You will come over here my bowl. You sh share my bowl. Yeah. We're just going to take just the yolk. See? Just like that. Oh, the yolk got away. Oh, that's okay. Can you scoop it out? Yeah. Oh, scoop yeah. it back look into that, the look shell. That, look at that. Perfect. Perfect. You're doing it. And yeah, then just dump it in there. Even if, you, that. if you get a little bit in there, that's fine. Don't worry about it. You can throw it right in there. It's, it's, got, it's, got, a, it's got a thing. Okay. Ah. Throw it right in there. Perfect. Oh, yuck. Now you can, now you can mix them. Well, now I can beat them? Yes. Look how nice and orange. Dark. The fresh eggs are very I love I love my eggs runny. I do too. They say when you uh, cook eggs, like scrambled eggs, that if it if it looks done, you overcooked it. <laughs> yeah. It should be a little little runny. How are we coming here? I'm gonna just giving this a little little mix here. I'm gonna brown this up good. How's our eggs coming? Always wash Beaten. your hands. Yeah, I gotta wash mine. Damn with egg. There's Mia. There's another little puppy running okay. around. Okay, so that's eggs actually. Look ready. This is actually. You can go ahead. Go ahead and wash your hands, Daryl. I'm. I'm gonna take your eggs here, and this actually is gonna be part of our sauce. And the I'm gonna sauce? take. Yeah. And I'm going to take this cheese, about a cup of the cheese that you you have given me, and I'm going to dump it right into our eggs mixture. 
We're going to mix that up in there. Listen to that sizzle. Smells good. Mm. We're going to set that aside. And I'm going to take a bunch of our fresh parsley we got here. Remember, oh, ball it up our, remember our ball trick? Yeah. Oh, you, you put cheese in my egg. Yep. <laughs> and we're going to... That'd be good just to cook like that with all that cheese. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to put... On a bagel. I'm going to put half of that in there. I'm going to save Ooh. half for, for our garnish for after. Bacon is crisping up nicely. Not quite ready yet, though. Our garlic's over here. See, it's getting infusing a lot of our flavor in there. All right, so we're just waiting for our bacon to crisp up. We're gonna set this this aside here, and what we're gonna we're gonna just make a really simple salad to go with this to have on the side. So while that's cooking and getting ready, we're gonna take our our bowl. This is real. This would be really easy, Daryl. Wow, I like your bowl. It's very old. We got that in the mail. This is an organic spring spring mix. Because we're we're getting out of work and we're just easy. We don't even we don't even uh, we're not even cutting up our own lettuce. We're just gonna take a take a depending on how many people are eating. We're gonna take a so this a couple handfuls. This is already pre it. pre washed. We're gonna cut up a tomato. 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 You tomato. say tomato. I say tomato. We're just going to cut this up quick. You take the seeds out? I don't. Do you like <laughs> taking the seeds out? Some people do. Really? Some people don't like the I seeds. I was just kidding. You can throw those in there. Sure. You know what I forgot? What'd you forget? My apron. Oh, yes. Put your apron on. You're cooking. Hold on. i got to have my apron. Well, I got my apron nice on Nice apron. Now. Yeah. I like the logo. <laughs> And we're just going to plop our cucumber it. in there. So it's just a okay. standard salad. Is this where we toss it? Yep. This is, no, we're this not going to toss it out. We're just going to set that aside. We're oh. just going to get that ready. And I'm going to come over here and I'm going to check the bacon. See how we're doing over here. That looks really good. I think we're, I think we're looking pretty good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all this out. bowl here and sometimes depending on the bacon that you have or the pancetta or whatever you're using um, we're gonna get a lot of flavor from the fat actually oh. so we're gonna leave some of this bacon fat in here if you have a whole lot you probably you, you can actually drain out a little bit If you got just a, you know not that much in there, you can leave it, and we'll use that as flavor because there is a lot of flavor in, in that. I can smell the can flavor. I try a piece? Sure. Oh, that ain't fair. If he gets a you piece, want to try I a piece. piece. Oh, it's hot. Be careful. It's very hot. Nah. <laughs> mm. Is it good? Very good. Good bacon. Yeah. <laughs> and we're gonna turn our pan right off, so it's gonna be off of the heat. And now we're just going to wait for our water to boil so we can cook our pasta. All right. How do we hurry up water? So we're going to come over to our boiling pot. Water's already salted. And we're just going to take, we're going to put in about a pound. Which is a whole box. Whole box. Mm -hmm. And where's my tongs here? Grab these ones here. And what we want to do is we just want to push it down into the water stir it up a little bit so it doesn't stick together and we're just gonna let that go until it's it's tender or al dente or however you like your pasta so you want to get it all submerged yes i submerge it all so it doesn't stick the salt helps keep it from sticking too right yeah it doesn't really it yeah i guess it could it mostly for flavor i think oh. for the salt hey. what's this bacon 
Hey. I told you, stop eating the bacon. <laughs> You're going to spoil your appetite. <laughs> You're going to spoil your appetite. It'll take a little more than that to do that. <laughs> <laughs> yep. That bacon looks Lisa, good. can you put the bacon over here? No, we're leaving the bacon over on this side. Why? Away from you. That's why we put you over here on that side. Oh, what on? You're killing me. We only me. have so much to work with. <laughs> <laughs> you want to test our... I could tell it's sure. not really done, but... No, when we were little, kids, when we were kids, we used to, my mother used to say, you know, check the pasta and see if it's done. We used to be okay. So me and my, my brother, we used to go over and we just to take out a big chunk of pasta and eat it. We used to love to eat it, just not all the way cooked. I don't know why. We just, this is what we just did. And there's still a little crunch to it. A little crunch. <laughs> a few more minutes on that. Usually the box will tell you how long to, to cook it for. Probably. But there's no better way than just, you just test it sample it, test it. Exactly. Yeah. A lot of people ask me, how do you know when something's done? Well, when you eat so many different foods and you've had bad and you had good, you had overcooked, you kind of use your eye and get used to uh, what looks good. And what, what this you looks doing? good. <laughs> You're teasing me, <laughs> Tony. Boring. You're killing Leave me, kid. Leave my bacon alone. <laughs> Another thing I used to, I, the same thing, I used to have to do that when I'm cooking it when the kids are all coming home from school, they're hungry, they would be picking my bacon just like you. Well, and I used to have to hide it. I used to I'd cook it up, <laughs> put it in the microwave, just hide it in there so they couldn't get it out, see it, and eat it before right. I put, it by, put the dinner together. I make uh, venison jerky and I have to hide it from my wife. She loves it. She'll eat it all day you ration long. Her? I you ration her? No, no. I just freeze it so she can't eat it all at once. Oh, okay. <laughs> Daryl, look at this bacon. I know, we could do a whole segment on bacon. Oh, bacon. <laughs> bacon. I like bacon wrapped bacon. Bacon wrapped bacon. <laughs> yeah. It's where you take one piece of bacon and you roll it up with another one and then another one and another one and then you go boom. <laughs> Dipping in chocolate. Bacon wrapped bacon. Maple. I don't know. I never heard of that. <laughs> Something maple. Yeah. Okay, so let's give it one, one, final, one test. final test here. Let me get a, check that out for me, Daryl. Sure. See if that seems good enough. Mm, perfect. Good? Perfect. Okay. All right, so. Now our pan is off here. We had taken our bacon out and our garlic out. We have a little bit of oil left. We have a little bit of oil left in our pan. We're gonna keep this stove off. We're not gonna, because it's gonna be hot. Okay, Daryl, while I'm putting the pasta in here, I'm gonna have you go over to the counter and grab our eggs. Oh, and, and cheese, cheese mixtures. Mix. Yeah. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna bring our pan a little bit closer here. Turn off our pasta. And I'm gonna take it, I'm just gonna put it right into our pan here. We're just gonna strain it. We, we're not gonna strain it because we're gonna use some of that pasta water. And if there's extra pasta already landing in here, that's a good thing because it's gonna be part of our sauce. And the sauce is actually our egg mixture and our cheese. Oh, really? Yeah, there's no, there's no cream in the sauce. Oh, so it's not a, it kinda a looks tomato like a, sauce. It's no. A, Egg and cheese sauce. No, and it's not a cream sauce either. It kind of, sometimes people put, think you put cream in here and you don't. It's actually just the, the pasta water. You never said this fish shop. No, I haven't. So what we're going to do, well, the pasta is really, really hot. We're going to add our, our egg mixture. We're going to drop it right in here because we're going to, this is what is actually going to finish cooking our oh, egg. Oh, the egg, yes. It's going to cook the egg. That. Yeah. So that's why you want to keep it nice and hot and get it yep. in there. Well, this way it comes right from there, right from right to this pot. And you can see that we're going to add a little bit of pasta water because we're going to try to get a little bit of a sauce here going, just like this. I see. You have to use the best pepper mill from France. And we're going to actually, we're going to yes, Daryl. You want to grab our pepper mill? We're going to actually yeah, add. I don't know if I can find this. The pepper so mill from small. France. <laughs> I got the bedpost. Francois, or what do you say? <laughs> May I do the honors? And we're gonna stir this up nicely. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put 
all our bacon back in here, minus oh, our garlic. Want you want that? We'll yeah, save that for you. It's bacon infused. <laughs> and we're going to put, put some pepper in there. We're not going to really add salt to this because we have the salt from the bacon and the salt from the cheese. You can add salt to taste when you get it onto your plate. That looks great. This Perfect. looks wonderful. Perfect. And the, now the egg should be cooked plenty enough. And you can <laughs> see here, if you see here, there's kind of like a cream sauce. There's no cream in here. It's basically the pasta water and the egg and the cheese kind of makes that into a, into a sauce, into our creamy sauce. Now, if we were to turn this on and put the egg in there and not add our pasta water to this, we're basically going to have like a... Uh, a stir fry scrambled egg type oh, of, you right. know, we're, we would be stir frying it, the, the noodles. And this is really it. This is it. We're going to go wow. over it up. to our um, counter here. Daryl, I'm going to have you grab our, our big bowl here. I'm going to grab this one. I've seen that. I knew you were going to do that. Okay, and we're going to, now that we got our pasta here, we're just going to sprinkle it here. And remember, we have to, oh, yeah. our secret ingredient too, sprinkle a little bit of love with everything that you cook. So we're going to dress the salad. So we're going to dress I the like salad. I like a tux. I like tux on my <laughs> salad. Real, this is how, this is how we always did it. Nothing came out of the bottle for the dressing, although it is nice to have ranch or blue cheese or whatever once I'm in a, a while. Blue but fan. this is just as quick. And you know exactly what's in it. So we're just going to put a little bit of salt in here into taste. Okay. We're going to put a little bit of our pepper in oh, here. Oh, that's my oh, job. Do it so well. It's, it's because you can handle it. So yeah. It I got the muscles for it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, perfect. And this here, I don't have any affiliation with Bragg's Organic Sprinkles, but it's, it's a sprinkle. It has 24 herbs and seasonings in it. And it's oh, wow. so, you gotta smell this, smell that. Oh wow, yeah. So there's lemon pepper smell in that. it, I smelled that. There's, there's oh, 24 yeah. different herbs and I always sprinkle a little bit of this in the salad and it's it's all organic and it, oh, it goes a long way, That's I love it. Secret ingredients. Love mm -hmm. that. And our olive oil, extra virgin olive oil, we're gonna take, we just kind of drizzle that just like this into our salad. That could be a meal in itself if somebody just wants a big salad. We're going to put a little bit of red wine vinegar. Okay. Nice. Here, I'm going to have you toss that up for me. No. <laughs> in the bowl. Oh, toss toss in up. the bowl. Oh. In the bowl. I made some homemade bread yesterday. I made these little rolls, so I'm going to oh. just have these as a little extra on the side. With our meal. So if you get in a restaurant, you get a little side dish of bread, a little intro of bread. So we're just going to cut these up like this. Got to have bread. Yeah. Especially homemade. So mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to plate this up now. You have to show me how to make bread. I will. We'll do one, we'll do one on, on the bread. Mm. So we're going to take our pasta. That's good. That's not for me. There's not enough bacon in it. I'll put more bacon in there. <laughs> like Bacos. Remember Bacos? <laughs> yeah, right. Bacos. Sizzling. Remember Sizzling? This is just for... I like that. I'm like that commercial. Bacon! <laughs> <laughs> okay. And then what I like to do... Of course. Is we're going to put a little bit more of this cheese on top. Oh, that Let looks plate delicious. This up. Okay. All right, I'll just take the big one. <laughs> the big bowl. And you can you can either put your salad, sometimes I put the salad right there on the parsley. side if you want to. Did you mix that up for us? Yes, parsley. I did. Yep. And you can add a little bit more parsley on the top there. You know where did I I hear you growling. My stomach's growling. I hope we get that recorded. <laughs> That'd be funny. Yeah, Turtle's so hungry. Give yourself a nice little helping of... Side salad in there in the... Picture of that too, because that even looks Okay. All right. I'm going to scoop up Tony and I some some pasta, and we'll be right back. Just don't give them all the bacon. I want some more. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
this looks great. Now we do the taste. Now we do the taste on this. I want to taste this pasta. All together, once again. Hold on, let me get mine. Get a little pasta. Let's try it out. Mm. Hold on. Oh, you got me before. <laughs> You're slow. Sorry, I can't wait. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. It's creamy. How is that? Pasta carbonara. <laughs> is that how you pronounce it? It's delicious. I really like it. Carbonara? Carbonara. Pasta carbonade. Carbonade. I've heard that. This little side delicious. salad. A little piece mm. of bacon with this one. <laughs> need the spoon trick? You know, you sit there and you... Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, uh... No. Mm -hmm. Even the bread's fantastic. Can mm. I have a napkin, please? Oh. Need a napkin now? Your stomach's. Let's try our wine, see how so it tastes dry. with our wine. Ah. Salute. 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 Delicious. Mm -hmm. So such a wonderful recipe. You folks need to be trying these recipes out. They're uh, they're not too hard once you get the hang of it. Not at all. And they're spectacular. And everybody loves bacon. <laughs> That's delicious. If you say you don't love bacon, you're lying. <laughs> Hey, there's Allie. Yeah, there's Allie. I knew she was coming. You can give her a piece of bacon. Oh, you know she's you like gonna, a piece of bacon. You know she's gonna like that. <laughs> oh, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> give, her give her another piece. Yeah, give her one more. Anyway. Daryl will save you a little piece, Allie. <laughs> Barely. Here you go, Allie. That's her. Oh, that's, that's Allie's chair. That's her. <laughs> Is that your chair? She's okay. so cute. Very good. You have good manners now. Good manners. Okay. And that's it, folks. This is our pasta carbonara. Simple and easy. Delicious. Right, Daryl? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> like you said, quick. No time at all. Right after work, you can whip this up in 20 minutes. And as always, we always want to just sprinkle everything with a little bit of love, and it'll be delicious every time. See you later, folks. Bye.